So today I was looking at old pictures um, and I was just kind of like looking at myself, you know, I'm like noticing how I look obviously. Um, and there were some photos from last year, July, 2020, that I, I just looked very different. I was using a filter in them, but even with a filter, you can tell when you have acne, you know, there's still like, you can tell in certain lights, certain angles, you know, whatever. And, um, yeah, it just kind of made me think of much happier times you know, for myself. That was a time when I was super happy and didn't have like a lot of stress in my life, I don't think. Um, I was eating regularly, you know, every single, obviously I eat every single day, but um, I was eating, you know, every single meal, every single day. Um, I would eat around the same time every single day. Um, I'd make, I'd like, I'd take the time to make breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and, um, it was, it was kind of crazy just like seeing that picture of myself because I saw somebody so different. Um, I can't fully explain it, but I looked healthy and I looked good. Um, and I looked happy. I think that's the biggest thing. Like I looked happy. Lately, I've been struggling hard. Like looking back at photos today made me realize that my acne and my body and PCOS and insulin resistance and weight gain and anxiety and all of these things that I've been experiencing at a high level for years now has greatly impacted my happiness and my life. My point here is that it's really sad to me just like how much this all has impacted my my well-being. I cannot tell you the amount of times in the last 10 years that I have not gone somewhere because of my acne or because of my anxiety or because of, you know, this reason or that reason. But a lot of it is due to my appearance. A lot of it is due to my lack of self-confidence. A lot of it is due to, you know, my acne. And I'm sure down the line, I'll look back and think to myself, it wasn't that bad or, you know, I was beautiful or whatever, whatever you think, you know, when you look back, right? Because a lot of times you look back to five, 10 years ago and, you, and, you know, during that time you thought that you were not beautiful or that you thought that you were, you know, too big or too small or whatever. Um, and you have a fresh, you know, fresh vision um, looking back, but just looking back in the last five-ish years, I just feel like a lot of things in my life have been ruled by my skin. A lot, a lot of things. And this weekend we have a birthday party to go to for one of my nieces. And of course I love my nieces and nephews. I love my family so much. I love my family. I love my husband's family. They, they are my family. Um, but, you know, I, I definitely have the thought of maybe like, like, I don't, I want to go because I love my niece and I want to celebrate her birthday, but I don't want to go because I don't want to be seen. Like, I don't want to interact with people. I don't want people looking at my skin. I don't want to be judged for my chubby face, my swollen face. Um, and obviously I've, you know, I've gained weight and um, I don't feel my most confident. I don't feel my most beautiful. And this also happened, you know, in July, it was my sister's birthday and it was just going to be, you know, us sisters going out. And even though it's just them and they are probably the people that I'm most comfortable with in my life, I still didn't want to go out with them. I still didn't want to put myself out there. I still didn't want to get dressed up and go to different places and take pictures. And I, I just did it because I didn't want to be a Debbie Downer party pooper, but I felt like absolute crap about myself. And that's just two instances I'm talking about. Imagine the day-to-day -day things. Like nobody else has to deal with this. I mean, that sounds crazy to say. I'm Like I'm not the only person in the world, but what I'm saying is like, 
the ratio, I guess, of people that have to deal with this and people that don't is just so big. And I don't know what the point of me saying that is, but I guess most people don't understand and the majority of people get to go on and live their lives and, and be free and to do things that they love to do and to see their family and friends and you know not have to put a mask on every single day as far as like makeup goes. And you know I have to talk myself into things. I have to prep myself. I have to give myself a pep talk. I have to, not, I have to stop my brain from assuming what others are thinking of me and my skin. Um, I have to tell myself, you know, this time next year, I'll be better. Or, um, you know, next time they see me, like, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna have acne anymore. And I've done that for years, years and years and years and years, like literally. Same thoughts every single year. And I'm still not there. And I don't want this to sound like a pity party for me like I don't want anyone's pity at all this is really for like my documentation and I like I just made this realization that this is my life and it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be that way I don't have to keep going through this you know I don't like when I see somebody I always look at their skin like like it's It's so ingrained in every part of my being at this point in my life. And I am so tired of it. I'm so tired of being this person. I'm so tired of being in this position. I'm so tired of, I I can't even tell you like my acne and my body and all the things that I'm going through physically, hormonally, mentally, emotionally, like it's impacted me in every single way of my life, every single way. And when I tell you that it's 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 been the cause of so many arguments, it's been the cause of so many so many negative things, um, and it's really unfortunate. But it's been I mean it's caused some really really negative experiences in my life. There have been so many times that I've broken down and cried. It's been the cause of a emotional breakdown mental breakdown it's been the cause of an anxiety and panic attack like it's been a cause of all of those things and it it sucks I do not like I know what to do but when I look back that was another time, that was a different time, that was different circumstances. And I can't go back to last year. I can't go back to what my life was like, you know? I I can't. And as much as I want to, I can't. Um, And I feel like I need to make a big shift mentally to get myself to be at a place where I'm happy, genuinely happy again, all the time. And I know my appearance has a big part to do with it. I know like, m- you know, my body and like how in shape I am, my skin and how good it looks. It does have an impact on that. Some people are going to be like, no, like, it, well, it shouldn't. Well, it does. Well, it does. Like it, and people say, oh, well, nowadays, like all of, all of, you know, these people online make you compare yourself and make you feel bad about yourself. I don't, I'm not comparing myself. It's not about people and me. It's not about me versus people. Like, no, it's about me. It's about me. It's about, it's about what I want, what I want for myself, what I want for my body, what I want for my, for my skin. It's not about me looking at somebody and being like envious or jealous or, you know, wanting their body. That's not the case at all. It never has been. It's about what do I want for myself? Anyway, it's just, it's just a lot. But I think that I really needed to take a look back today because it's hard. It's hard. There's just so much that kind of revolves. Like my entire life has revolved around this. And I'm I'm grateful for it because it's taught me so much and I have been able to help people and things like that as well. But at the same time, 
Most people don't have to go through this. Do you know how much money I have spent on supplements, doctor's visits, products, um, skincare products, makeup, um, pillowcases, um, chemical peels and facials and things like that. It's like, it's been a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And most people don't have to spend that kind of money on things like this. Not only that, but when you also tie in other, other aspects of PCOS, you know, certain foods that you have to buy, um, just the amount that I spend at like health food stores is so much every single time. Um, not to mention the amount that I spend online on buying things. Um, and also just so many different things, including like, you know, having to get waxed because of the hair growth and things like that. Like I'm just a hairy, a very hairy person. And I, I totally believe that PCOS has a part to do with it as well as just genetics, but it freaking sucks because most people don't have to go through that trouble of making sure to get waxed and it's it's a lot for a person to have to manage it truly truly is it's a lot to have to keep up with all of these different things to have to keep all of these different appointments to have to do all of these different things like it doesn't have to be that way i i believe it doesn't have to be that way and my goal is to get to the point where i don't wear makeup anymore and also I want to get to the point where I can feel confident and comfortable eating anything. Um, I, I don't want to necessarily eat literally anything because I was there before when I would eat like McDonald's every single day, fast food every single day. And if it's not every single day, it was like three times a week, two times a week, you know, whatever. But it was not the healthiest options. And I felt like absolute crap after eating those foods. Um, but I would like to get to the point where I no longer feel that guilt for eating something. It's just a lot of mental and emotional energy that goes into all of this. And when you think of all the times that I have said no to something because of my acne, like so many times, so many different situations that have happened, like it's freaking insane. It's seriously insane. Um, you know, there was a time that I still remember from like high school that a friend invited me to a water park and I said no because of my acne, because I was so insecure and in how I looked and I said no to that. And that's something that I still think about to this day. Um, and at this point it's probably been like eight years or probably 10 years. I don't know. It's been a long time. Um, you know, just it's a lot of mental work. It's a lot of emotional work. It's a lot of physical work too. And I'm thankful for it because it's brought me into this area of life, this wellness journey that I've learned so much on. And I'm so grateful for it because otherwise I would not have learned any of this stuff. There are people who are perfectly healthy and that's great for them and I'm so happy for them, but they have not had the same journey and they haven't been brought down this path. And that's perfectly fine because everyone's purpose and paths and journeys and things like that are meant for them. But I'm so grateful that I have learned what I have learned because otherwise I would not have learned it. And I'm grateful to have made this connection with people online. And I'm grateful to, you know, just, I'm grateful for the journey. I am, but that does not mean that it's, that it hasn't been hard. It's been so hard. It's been the hardest journey of my entire life. Not to mention, I had surgery. I literally had surgery to, to help with this whole PCOS thing, uh, you know, to remove some cysts and, and things like that. And, and that in itself, like that took time away from work, that took money out of my pocket, that took time dealing with freaking insurance and hospitals and things like that, which I'm still dealing with. Like, it's a lot, it is a lot. And if you are in this position, just know that I, I feel you. I feel you. I'm with you. Right now, looking at my skin, I'm using my phone to, to film, but looking at my skin, I'm like, I, I thought my skin was doing better. I didn't wear makeup yesterday and I, it was great. I loved it, but I thought my skin was doing better. And like, now that I look at it, I'm just like, but is it? And like, do I really want to go out and be outside in the sun with my makeup on and skin that looks like this? 
no, I don't. I don't want people to see me. And it's something that like more more recently, it's, it's had a really big effect on me. I don't want to see anybody. I don't want to go anywhere. Like it's to that point. It's to that extent. And it freaking sucks. But this is a part of my journey. And what I know is that sitting here and complaining about it is not going to do anything. And I don't consider this complaining. What I consider this is venting and documenting and sharing my journey because I like it clicked for me this morning. Just how many events my skin has impacted. Like my skin not being at its best is creating a lot of chaos in my life. It's it's making me miss out on really important events in my family, in my in my family's lives and with my family. Um it's made me feel really uncomfortable when I should feel really happy and content. And again, I'm thankful for this journey. I'm thankful for all of us. I'm thankful my body is communicating with me in the form of acne and things like that. But that doesn't take away from the fact that it's still such a hard journey. It's really, really hard. It's something that impacts every part of your being. This is literally what I look like. It's what people see first when they see me, you know, and it's what people judge you on. And it's, it sucks. Um, you know, a lot of people don't ever deal with acne at all. And I consider them to be so lucky to not have to deal with it, but it's just, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot, but back to it again. I, I don't want to sit here and just talk about it. I'm going to do something about it too. And for me, that means getting, like having non-negotiables, okay? We can't negotiate that I need to work out three to five times, three to five days a week. Because I have seen firsthand how much my acne decreases just after one workout like it's amazing like not the acne itself it's more so the inflammation i have seen after going for a walk or after a workout i look in the mirror and i'm like whoa my face is not as red anymore it's not as puffy anymore it looks much calmer um and i love that um and i also know how certain foods make me feel i know that when i eat pizza First of all, I'm, the entire time I'm eating it, I'm thinking about how I'm gonna get a breakout because I'm eating cheese and I'm eating bread and all these things. But after I eat it, I feel like absolute crap. Or after I eat something really, really greasy, full of oil um, that's been fried or whatever, just depending on what it is, combined with like bread and other things, like I'm gonna feel really bad and really disgusting after eating that. Um, I feel my best after eating like genuinely healthy food. Um, after eating vegetables and protein and something light but clean and tasty. Um, it can get boring after a while, but that's why you have to learn how to cook. You have to learn how to use different spices and seasonings. You have to try new things, new recipes, and learn how to cook different things so you won't get tired of eating healthy food because I promise you, the best food is food made from scratch that includes different textures, different flavors, and there is a huge variety of vegetables and flavors and textures and vegetables um, and in fruit and in whole foods, natural foods that come from the ground or come from the earth. Um, so anyway, it requires consistency. It requires showing up every single day, even when you don't feel like it, because you're not going to feel like it. You're not gonna feel like it every single day. You're not gonna feel like waking up early. You're not gonna feel like going to sleep early. You're not gonna feel like working out, you know, like who, I know people enjoy it, but like for the most part, when you first start out, you're not gonna en enjoy walking upstairs and turning the TV on to do a workout. You're not gonna enjoy feeling that soreness of not, you know, not having worked out in a while. Like you have to build up to that and, you know, after a while of working out, you do fall in love with it because it does help you so much. It helps me mentally, helps me physically, helps me emotionally, helps me manage my stress. It helps me in other areas of my life. It helps me feel good about myself because when I know I'm doing good for my body, it increases my confidence. 
when I know I'm making good decisions, I'm eating healthy, I'm eating fruits and vegetables, I'm eating three meals a day, you know, I'm avoiding things that are not good for me, I'm moving my body, I'm working out, it helps me in other areas of my life and I need to keep that consistent. And I need to create these non-negotiables and create a schedule and create a plan because I'm tired of being in the same place. And I'm sure you probably are too. It gets old, it gets old. And I've been going through this for too many years. You know, it's time to make a real change. And I wanna get back to being the Amy that I, that I was. I'm not gonna be her, like the exact person because I've grown so much, I've learned so much. I'm a much more well-rounded person and that's the goal, right? In life to grow and to learn and to become better. And I know internally I am so much better and mentally I am so much better. And in terms of maturity, I'm so much better. You know, I, I've, I've made progress in those areas, but now it's time for me to make progress in the external areas too, so I can feel more confident in those areas too. And you might be in the same position. And if you are, you just have to make the decision and make that decision with me today. Um, I mean, it, it, whatever it is you have to do for yourself, do it for yourself. I don't know what that is for you, but it might be the same thing. It might be something different, but you know what that is. And stop going around and around. Create non-negotiables that you deliver every single day, that you show up every single day, that you do every single day or every single week. Whatever that looks like for you, but set those expectations for yourself. Set those rules, th those rules for yourself and follow through and see how your mind, body, and life changes with time. My goal is to document those workouts, document what I'm eating, is to document how I'm feeling because listen, this journey is not an easy one. It's not easy being in it and it's not easy getting out of it, okay? It's gonna be a hard emotional one. I know it is, but it's worth the investment because I want my life back. I want to enjoy time with my family. I don't want to keep having to buy foundation. Like, I don't want to have to keep buying powder and all the stuff to just pile on my face. No, I want to go makeup free. I want to be confident enough to go makeup free, okay? Let's freaking go. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this rant slash vent session slash documentation of how I'm feeling in this moment. Um, it is currently, I don't have my watch on, um, September 24th, 2021. And it's time to change your life. It's time to make some progress and set a, set a goal date. And whatever you have to do, do it every single day, okay? Do not wait until like the very last minute. You got this. The way that you can attain change and reach your goals is by doing everything consistently. No negotiations. Don't let yourself think about it. Set the rule and show up every single day. My name is Amy. If you want to see more of, you know, me and me documenting and things like that, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll have both of those down below. I really want to document everything that I'm doing and just I want to hold each other accountable. So if you want that accountability, you want to see what I am doing, please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Again, I'll have those linked down below and let me know what it is that you're going to do. But if you're feeling this way, I feel you, I hear you, I understand. And we can make the change that we want to see in ourselves together. Because I have started this so many times. I've done this so many times. I've started and stopped so many times. And I'm saying, this is enough. This is enough of your own BS. This is enough. It's time to finally make a difference in my life. And it's time for you to, to do the same for yourself and for your life. This, like, we don't, we're not promised tomorrow. We're not promised to be here a year from now to try this again, okay? This is our time to do what we need to do to make sure that we feel good so we can perform at our highest level, so we can be happy, and so we can be here and live and make memories with our families and ultimately just be free from the things that are holding us back. So let's do it. Good luck.